are warp lightning cannons any good? So here I was enjoying Plague Claw Catapults. They're basic, sure, but they're also really effective. I mean, magical attack, nicely arcing shots, a bit random but with potential to get hundreds of kills left and right, a little luck and they brutalize clumps. Why would I need anything- GIVE ME NOW NOW! Please like, subscribe, comment, and consider donating Warpstone tokens to my Ko-Fi page. All support is deeply appreciated. Here we have 4 cannons on Ultra and 48-48 HP spread between the unit for 12-12 per model. Skaven numbers, yeah. Armor is 30, leadership is 50, speed is 20. Many stats are, I've seen worse, but it's also pretty irrelevant, so let's move on. The cannons begin with 22 ammunition, range is 430, and as this is a faction that can increase range, this is on the higher end of range in the game. Missile damage is listed as 174. Actual damage is 80 base damage on impact, 260 armor piercing on impact, with a bonus versus large of 70. The extra damage favors armor piercing at the same ratio. There is a detonation radius of 2, with an explosion base damage of 5 and AP damage of 20, which is tiny. But this is a beam, and therefore anything on its path is subject to damage on the way. The cannons have some elevation, but this easily cleaves through your own lines if you allow it. You need to poke holes into your own lines to safely use the cannons, and by safely, I mean not allowing your own side to suffer needless casualties. If you need to take out your own guys, that's another issue. Reload time is 21, which is why the missile damage is listed so low. Total accuracy is 40 by default, as in twice the standard value, and increases naturally as levels rise. Calibration distance is 350, which means that the unit is considered accurate for quite a bit of its range, and calibration area is 9, which isn't pinpoint like Gisele's, but it's still pretty good relative to a lot of stuff. In the Lord Redline skills, engineering skill immediately offers a maximum of plus 20% ammunition and 9% reload reduction time. Warp Smart gives rank 7 vets plus 5 leadership, plus 12% missile damage, and 15% spell resistance. Warlock Engineers are obviously highly desirable for your cause, and can greatly increase the accuracy and reload times for a while in addition to boosts to ammo, missile strength, and even speed. Useful for repositioning or keeping up with the army a bit better. You have to get deep into the tech tree before you can access Promoted on Merit, one of these concepts that seems utterly revolutionary to the skater. This jacks up ammo by another 20% and bumps up recruit rates. They can't blame their tools as 10 to armor, which isn't that important, and 10% to missile damage, which is oh yes yes material. Now, what more can be said about how you can use the cannons? Simply put, they're not worthless against standard infantry balls, but they're hard to love in that situation. No, the cannons are far better used for a different job, clearing the skies and wrecking things like cavalry and monsters. Those are things the Skaven struggle with under normal circumstances, so anything you can do to take them down more effectively is valuable. In other words, this unit does a fine job of addressing the weaknesses of the roster, and isn't that great at adding to your strengths. Don't bring this expecting it to do the job of the Plague Claw Catapult only better. No, it doesn't work the same way. All that said, enemy elite cavalry and punchy monstrous infantry have reason to truly fear this weapon, and even giants will wince under the assaults. As for your other problems, that's for the rest of your army. Take care, and have fun zapping the enemy into submission. It's a long-distance joy buzzer.